Welcome back everybody, my name is Andrew and this is Kite Army. We have had a real busy spring. We've checked out three different brands of string trimmer. We've checked out Milwaukee, Ryobi, and Ego. But we're gonna squeeze one more brand in. Let me give you a clue of what it is. It's right here, this is the brand new DeWalt 20 volt 14 inch brushless string trimmer. We're gonna check this thing out and it's got one really unique feature. Let's start with that. Pretty tiny. All right guys, let's go through all the features of this DeWalt 20 volt XR brushless string trimmer. Now this is a 14 inch string trimmer, but let's start on the back of the string trimmer. So in the back here is where the battery lives. You can see this happens to be an XR battery. This is a 20 volt, four amp hour battery, and it's got a power meter on it. Now the funny thing is when you plug it in, it turns out you can't see the power meter. That's kind of weird in my mind. So let's move down the handle here. Down here you have a variable speed motor, which means the harder you pull the trigger, the faster it goes. Now this is a two speed model. Here's low speed, and here's max speed. So let's keep on moving down the handle right here. You can see one of the big features of this particular string trimmer is the fact you can fold it in half. To fold it in half, you unlock it, and then you put it like that, and you can see it's supposedly 40% shorter when folded in half. Let's put it back together to put it back together. Sort of the same idea. Push it forward, put that mechanism on, and lock it down. Now here's the power head. The motor lives down here. This is a brushless motor. This happens to be a 14 inch string trimmer, so your string all the way across is 14 inches, which is a little bit on the short side these days. Most string trimmers are about 15, some are 16. Now to wind this string, this is a little different. You put your hand on this piece around here with these uh, notches on it, and you spin the string trimmer, and it will actually draw the string in. So let me show you how to load string into this DeWalt string trimmer. First off, these buttons right here you have to push. So there's one on each side. Let's do one side, and let's do the other. And that will release the head. I've got a little bit of string left in here, so let me pull the string out. And that removes the string. So now let's put the head on. So these little tabs right here have to go into this spot right here. And let's try and get this on, right? There we go. Push it down and it locks in. Now you're gonna notice there's a little white tab right here and a little white tab right there. We have to line them up. Now get your string and make sure it's nice and straight because otherwise you won't get this to work. You can see that hole right through there. Look right in there. Yep. All right. Let's see if that helps. Ah, bang. As easy as that. Okay, once you get it through, split the links so you got equal links on both sides. Let's do that. Then what you do is you hold the outside here, this like little grip piece, and you turn the center clockwise right about to there. Let's go one more. And we should be good to go. Time for a bump test. There it is. All right guys, so it is time for the wrap up. Here's the deal. DeWalt is counting on the fact that you probably already own 
a few of these DeWalt batteries and they're saying, well, we can get a DeWalt guy who owns these batteries to buy these string trimmer, even though in my opinion, this string trimmer for the price of $200 has a bunch of deficiencies. Let's start with the fact that the power meter is actually hidden when it's installed in the tool. Like, how could they possibly do that? The next thing is this. This is the hinge, which is pretty cool. The concept of folding your string trimmer in half is a good idea, except the fact, look at all that metal and all that weight, and you can feel it. Watch this. Okay, the string trimmer isn't balanced no matter what you do. Now, if you do add a bigger battery, that will definitely help, but DeWalt doesn't sell a big enough battery to correct that problem. So the whole time you're kind of fighting against the string trimmer. So here's an example of a string trimmer that's really well balanced. You can see it naturally goes to the position that you would use it in. Now, let me show you what the DeWalt does. It's almost straight up and down, which means the whole time you're fighting this string trimmer to keep it down and control it. That's no bueno. The reason why the DeWalt is imbalanced is look at all this metal and stuff on the head here. That adds a lot of weight and it's hard to compensate for that. In contrast, here's the Ego Power Load. Look how slim and lean that is. The other thing about the Ego Power Load is it's push button to load string. So all in all, this DeWalt 14 inch battery powered string trimmer is a fine unit. Now, if you're already in the DeWalt battery platform, I understand why you might consider this, but if you're not for $200 of which this unit costs, including the charger, battery and string trimmer, I would definitely look at some other brands. All right, guys, I've done my part. Now you do yours. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel. And as a reward, I got a video for you right there. You're going to want to see catch you over there.